The government has posted eviction notices on more than 50 structures that were recently erected in Abaco shanty towns. Public Works Minister Desmond Bannister revealed as much to reporters outside Cabinet on Tuesday. The Ministry of Works has posted eviction notice on a whole variety of these illegal structures in on the mainland in Abaco and on Elboki. Bannister provided a report with pictures of all the structures in question. There were 52 in total, with the majority in the Farm Road shanty town and on Elbow Key. Two were documented in the sandbanks. The photos depict a number of structures of varying sizes. Most of them appear to be constructed with plywood. Some have already been outfitted with windows, doors, and metal roofs. In recent months, many Abaconians have decried apparent reconstruction in the shanty towns, calling for government action on the matter. Bannister says the issuance of eviction notices is the first step in the process. Many of them have been posted since June. We've documented every single one with photographs and the dates when they were posted. Uh, and so there is a, a government inter-ministry agency that's looking at taking the next steps. But our job with respect to posting them was started in June and we and we are relentless in ensuring that we do what the Bahamian people ask us to do. Following Hurricane Dorian, the government issued an immediate six-month ban on the construction of new buildings in the mud, sandbanks, and pigeon peas shanty towns, which suffered severe wind and flood damage during the devastating Category 5 storm. Through compulsory acquisition, the government also took control of the land after Hurricane Dorian and had it cleared of debris thereafter. The Farm Road shanty town, however, still had structures on it. Many residents of Abaco shanty towns told The Guardian last year that they had nowhere to go. Reporting for Guardian News Network, I'm Jasmine Brown.